Hi guys and welcome to Grooves. Uh, Rob here behind the camera and Craig on screen. Um, we're just going to have a quick chat with you about um, some ideas you can do in the garden with your chipping while we're all on lockdown. Uh, today we, we're going to have a little bit of a, a fun challenge and chat about trajectory control. Uh, so hopefully you can see on screen that we've set out a couple of different poles. So I guess you could just use some bamboo or some canes or something if you've got those in the garden or maybe tape a couple of golf clubs together. Um, but we've set out a three-tiered window. So we've got a low, we're gonna work on a low trajectory, a medium trajectory, and a higher trajectory. Now it's um, definitely a higher skill level this, but we believe it's important to understand how to control trajectory. Uh, Craig's gonna be using just one club to do this. What club is that, Craig? I've got a 54 degree wedge. 54, so about a sand wedge, uh, and we'll, have a little bit of a discussion about maybe some things you can change in your technique to get the desired ball flight that you want. Uh, now I think it just gives you some more options then when you're out on the golf course and you're faced with different shots and challenges. Um, we think it's an important skill. So if we try the low one first, uh, we'll have a little bit of a chat about how we can make the ball go lower. Obviously the, the most obvious choice would be to go down in loft, which is an option. So you could use a, an eight or a seven iron. Um, but how would you go about changing this, Craig? Would you alter ball position? Um, so personally, to hit it a little lower, yeah, I would just pop the ball back in my stance slightly. So it's gonna be, for me, more towards my uh, right foot. That's gonna help me just to lean the shaft a little bit, take a little bit of loft off the club, and just steepen my angle of attack a little bit just to get that lower initial trajectory. Okay. I always feel on this one as well, guys, that as I put the ball back, that I would, I would raise the handle slightly. So I would certainly make the shaft more vertical, um, almost like a putting setup, which you'll see, I think, when Craig sets himself up, he'll be still a lot closer to the ball um, and the shaft more upright, so the heel almost comes off the, off the floor slightly. Right, why don't you give that one a go, Craig, and uh, let's see how you get on. So you can see that shaft's a little higher control in the loft and nice and low so that one's when that does land that's uh, that's going to run out a little bit more so maybe if you're trying to chase it up to a, a flag towards the back of the green the uh, lower option might be the the best solution now for the uh, the middle window which is probably going to be the most trickiest one uh, we are probably going to change ball position again i think yeah i'm definitely going to go more more central more towards the central yeah. position um, and then keep, I think, everything a little bit more neutral, correct? Yep, definitely. Not really leaning the shaft to take any loft off the club now. Where do you feel your weight distribution there? I'm going to favour my left slightly, not quite as much as I was on the lower one. I okay. um, still need to favour the left slightly just because I want to try and guarantee that good strike if I can. I think if you watch when Craig does put his weight on his left side, guys, you'll see his sternum actually gets almost above the ball or even Maybe. Do you feel like it gets on the front of the ball? Yeah, I'd say it's in front of yeah. the ball. Okay. Oh, crossbar challenge. Just kept it under. Pretty good. Just on the right side. Yeah, pretty good. Um, and then finally, the higher one. So, I mean, there's no limiting how high this can go. And obviously, a harder, a harder swing would, would enable us to get a little bit more height. But... We're going to, for this demonstration, try and keep the landing spot about the same. Um, and I think this is the one that... Oh! <laughs> delayed. Sorry, I'll put that back on. So I think it's... Um, this is the one that will give amateur golfers, I think, the most trouble because it does involve... Maybe not this one, but in more extreme circumstances, it involves opening the club face a little bit more, which I know from my experience scares people, they see the leading edge start to come off the floor um, and then I think it leads to a not very committed shot from, from people. So I think, Craig, would you move your ball from middle here or would you keep it the same? Would you move it a bit further forward? I know I tend to hit, hit it from a forward ball position a little bit more. Yeah, possibly a little bit further forward. Not too much because I personally wouldn't want to compromise the strike. Okay. And would you open, open the face? Tall? Yes, yes, just like it. Okay, quite a good little tip, guys. And as you, as you open the club face, um, which Craig, can you just show the show the viewers what I mean by opening the club face? So we'd actually take the 
take the club, turn it, and then take our grip once the club has turned. So now we've got that nice open face. And I think one little tip when you do that, guys, if you just open the club face and hit the shot, the ball's going to probably take off to the right a little bit. So what we do is we just lower the handle just a little bit, which helps just realign the club face a little bit more. Uh, we call that face plane tilt, uh, which we won't go into detail with, but it's important that the more you open the club face, you set the hand up just a little bit lower so you can still control your direction. Um, any other changes at all, Craig, or would you? Um, not really. Um, I'm still going to keep some weight on, on my left. Mm -hmm. Just try and feel a little more loft on the club as I, as I come through the impact. Okay. So do you feel like you're actually releasing the club head? Yeah, I feel like I just have a little bit more release on this one. Just let the club head just come past my hand slightly just so as I can maintain some loft. Whereas with the others, I was trying to have a little bit more shaft. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how he gets on. Okay, very good. Um, caught the, actually caught the ground a tiny bit before the ball then, but because he was releasing the club face and because he had a bit more loft on the club through opening it, uh, the bounce of the golf club actually helped with the, with the contact there. So a little bit of skidding and sliding going on through contact. Uh, hope that helps guys and we'll be in touch with a few more videos over the next few weeks.